Okay. I wanted to uh, today do a quick little video on vices and scissors. Um, and um, I want to show you a little bit about the vices I use and the very little tiny bit I do to maintain them. Um, and then I wanted to show you, um, I was introduced to a new scissor, a new company, tool company at the Midwest Fly Fishing Show. And I want to um, take a look at a couple of their things and introduce you to some of their things. For full disclosure, I am a Regal Vice Pro Staff Tire, but I was tying on Regal Vices long before um, <clears throat> long before I became a part of their Pro Staff. Um, one of the things that I really like about Regal Vice, um, you, and they make a full rotary vice. I I I they haven't used them yet. I I know a lot of guys do. But you've seen me a lot of times working on bass bugs, and you'll see me rotate this vice around. It's you know it's just a quick you know squeeze of the handle to um, to change it around. Those are all some of the features I like. Um, and and the other thing is, um, let me put this vice head in. This is one of my old original vice heads from Regal um, and it still works just fine I mean I can pop a hook in there I could tie on it you can see that I've worn most of the black off from the outside um, especially you know over here and the outside it's if this is their standard head uh, this vice head comes from I'm thinking like night right around 1990 um, and it's still functional. That's the thing I like about it. It's still completely functional. I can still use it if I want to. But the other thing I like about Regal is the modularity of their vice heads. Um, let me pull this one out. This is the standard head. I'll start with this one. This one is the, this one is a modern standard head. Um, you know, it's the same jaw configuration, you know, same thing with just, you know, popping a hook in. This is probably the most versatile vice head they make in that it will do a huge range of hooks. I can do bass bugs, and I probably can't, don't want to use the really big hooks that I'd use for musky and pike flies, but most standard bass bugs I could use in this hook, and I could tie, you know, all the way down to 16, 18s on this vice head. Um, so that's the standard, but when I really get going on dry flies and little trout flies, one of the one of the vices that one of the heads I use is the midge head. I put that in there, rotate around. You see, it's got a, a configuration where it's got a little bit smaller jaw on it, um, and it'll hold small hooks nicely. And then they've got this vice head, which is um, their big game head. Um, and this one is the one you see me tie a lot on because you see you've been seeing me tie a lot of bass bugs But it's nice about this one is you can really drop the hook pretty deeply into it for bigger flies You can see the hook is still out, but the shank of the hook is pretty deeply into the vise It's a really good vise head for doing uh, For doing large flies on and I've never really had to they make one that's even for bigger hooks than this. They make a couple as I don't have every example of their vice heads, but I like the, the fact that their vice heads are modular and that it's just a quick, I mean, it's real easy just to take this off and, uh, and um, you know, swap out. Let me adjust my camera a little bit here so you can kind of see the stem. Okay, so there's the part that the vice heads fit onto. So I want to show you, this is the one little thing that I occasionally do. I don't do it very often. I just have powdered graphite. You don't really want to put a oily, I don't put an oily lubricant on it. I suppose you could. But what I do instead is I'll just put a little paper towel under here and I'll just dust it with some graphite. And then just kind of use my towel and Rub that around on it just a little bit, 
and that's all I do with this vice set. That's really all I do. I don't. There's no other parts. I don't have to do anything to any other parts on these. And uh, you know that'll allow it. You know, as I tighten this down, I can adjust how hard it turns. Um, and um, that's about all I do. Is once in a great while. I don't even do that real often. But that's one of the few things I do to maintain this vice head. Um, then the other company that I wanted to show you, and I'm not yet part of their pro team, um, but I like their products. Uh, I, I met these guys at the, at the uh, Midwest Fly Fishing Show. They are, put this card, all this card is in the picture and I'm gonna put a link in this video uh, to this, the Andromedas Fly Company. They have great sets of fly tying tools, and I've been, you notice, you'll see now in videos, you'll see me using this pair of hair scissors, um, and I really like these hair scissors. I want to show you real quickly, and I got one of these, I got also, I've got a pair of the curved scissors, you can see the curved blade in there, and they're nice and sharp, they got just a little serration on them which is nice. I'm gonna, I got a brand new pair here. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you when you start with a brand new pair of scissors, I'll just show you one little quick trick. Uh, I haven't even, this is the first time I pulled these out of this package. So it's got, you know, it's got a nice bite to it. Um, so again, let me take my, uh, my paper towel here and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take, and it doesn't matter what it is, it could be like a three-in-one oil, I'm just gonna use a little WD-40. I'm gonna hit the, the blades of the scissors. Let's get both sides here. Hit it real quick. And then I'll work it a little bit like that. Then I'll come in and I'll rub that out, that off from there. Clean them off. Yeah, and see that already, they're working a lot smoother than they were when I first pulled them out. So just putting a little, real lightweight oil in them really helps. The other thing you can do with these is um, you can get a small screwdriver. Um, and you'll notice the, the flathead screw in there. I can tighten these up a little bit. Um, and that, tight, that tightens the scissors up a little bit. Um, when, uh, if you need to tighten them up a little bit or loosen them up, normally it's tightening them up. Um, the other scissors that I have from them is the razor scissors. Um, this one does have a little turl on it, so you can adjust this. These scissors work really well. Um, this is a nice sharp blade. And I've also, you know, same thing here, you know, if you got a new pair, just uh, hit it with a little WD-40 or some like a little 3-in-1 oil, something like that. And then work them a little bit and get the oil off from it. Um, so this is, is, yeah, see now they're nice and smooth. I can feel that edge, that nice sharp edge kind of cutting right down through there. Um, this is a scissors that I would use for um, use doing synthetic hairs on streamer patterns and stuff like that. Um, so um, I just want to just kind of wanted to um, show you the couple these couple tools, and particularly I wanted to do a shout out to the Adraminus Fly Company guys. Um, I think they've got a great product, and you'll see me using them in future videos. So, and I'll put a link to their website on this video. So anyway, if you haven't done so, uh, hit subscribe on my YouTube channel. I'm going to put this up on my uh, Facebook page, and I'll put a link also, and I'll post it on my YouTube channel. So anyway, have a good day, and um, I'll see you next time.